I decided I needed a little fish tank for my room. So I'm gonna try to keep this under $100 to try to get a nice tank with some fish. So I got the fish tank in the cart, ready to go. Guys, look, there they are. Oh my gosh, these are the ones right here. Guys, we have secured the bag. Look what we have here. We have our fish. Also, one last thing, you always wanna rinse your fish tank. You don't know what kind of chemicals are on it from the manufacturer. Just means nice, I just knocked the plant over. The fish are happy, they're swimming around. Just look how beautiful this tank came out. What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode. So I know it's been like a week. I was out of town for four days in Atlanta. I came back super sick, was not feeling up to doing any videos, filming anything. So today is Thursday, it's been about a week since I posted. And this is the first day that I felt well enough to go do a video. So I was thinking of what I wanted to do today and I decided I needed a little fish tank for my room. Well, I really don't need one, but I want one. So the goal for this is I wanna spend the least amount of money as possible while also getting a beautiful tank. So I know there's a lot of great options out there. So I'm gonna to try to keep this under $100 to try to get a nice tank with some fish. So we're gonna see how it goes. Guys, look where we are. We're, we made it to PetSmart, PetSmart. So we're gonna go inside and the goal is to spend $100 or less on the tank, the fish. I think I have rocks in my house, but I'm gonna buy. Guys, so I found the tank that I want. It's this beautiful Top Fin Underwater World Retreat five gallon tank. Look how awesome it is. And I'm a member, so it's only gonna be $40 for this whole tank. It's got the built-in filter, the lights, the water pump, and they have this two and a half gallon one. But the only problem is, this is 35% off because it's a damaged water pump. and. There is no more of them, so I'm gonna go find someone and see if there's another one in the back. So since that pump is damaged, I gotta try to find an employee. There's like, I don't know, every PetSmart I walk into, it's like dead. There's like three employees in the whole store. So I talked to some of the employees and there's no more of those, the five gallon, really nice all glass one. But I've been looking at this one, it's three gallons, so it's just a little bit smaller and it's just beautiful. It's really cool. It's got like this fake plastic wood looking stuff. So I'm gonna go with this one and I'm only gonna pay $31 for this tank. It comes with a built-in filter. So I'm thinking it's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait to set this up. So I got the fish tank in the cart, ready to go. And now we gotta pick up some decor. It's buy one, get one 50% off. There is millions of options, millions. But this right here, that's the one right here. I like this. I'm gonna give it like a nice Zen garden. You see it's got like, it's only got like this Zen garden look with the wood. This bamboo is gonna go nicely with it. And, and it's only $8, great deal. So now we gotta find one other piece. I'm gonna go with the Pagoda. It's pretty cool, it's cheap too. So it's 50% off, so that's $8. And then this is $8 as well. So this will be $4, so we're at eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, $13. So we're only at like almost 50 bucks. So we gotta get some fish though. So we already have the rocks at my house. So it is a beta tank, but I don't want to put beta fish in there. I want to put like little neon tetras or whatever else cool fish they have here. Mind you, I haven't had a fish tank in years. I, when I was little, maybe like 10 years old, 12 years old, I used to have a fish tank, 10 gallon full of all kinds of fish, but I literally haven't had one in probably nine years. So this is new for me. Well, it's new for me now, but we're going to find a couple little plants for this guy. Yep, this will do. Dollar nineteen, super cool. And I'm also going to go with this plant right here. It's $2.99 TF Orange Ball Plant. Pretty cool plant. It's going to like be real flowy up at the top. So we got this so far, but I do want to get one more plant for this tank. So I've mapped this tank out and actually I can't fit any more plants in here. It's just going to be way too crowded for the fish. So this is kind of how I'm going to do it, but we'll play it by ear once I get the fish in and get it all set up. You know, you can't forget the fish food. I'm gonna do the Tetra Color for a tropical fish, clear and cleaner. It's good stuff. Is it open? Nope, you're good to go. Guys, there is so many cool options here, like these little rainbow sharks. I love them. I think I'm gonna get one or two of those. And we have these little guys right here. Oh my gosh, some tiger barbs. But I want to find the Neon Tetras. When I was a little kid, the Neon Tetras were my absolute favorite. So I definitely want to add some of those to the tank. Guys, look, there they are. Oh my gosh, these are the ones right here, the little Neon Tetras. I'm one of my absolute favorite fish when I was a little kid. So I'm super stoked to add a couple of these. Since it's a three gallon tank, I think I'm only gonna have like four or five fish. 
Yes, I know, I should probably only do one fish per gallon, but honestly, they're gonna be fine. These are small fish. They do start to outgrow the tank. I will be probably upgrading, getting another tank for them. But for now, this is gonna be just fine. Guys, we have secured the bag. Look what we have here. We have our fish. We got some neon tetras, a little rainbow shark. One of these guys, a tiger bar. How cool is this? We are gonna go home now. We are gonna set this up. This is going to be an epic tank, guys. Take a look at this. I got all of this stuff. So I got the tank I got for literally only $30 because I was a member. So I got $21 off that. The plants were, you know, pretty inexpensive. The fish, all this for $70. $70 we got, how many fish we got? Three, four, we got five fish. We got one, two, three, four, we got five plants. Food, all for $70, you can have this amazing, beautiful tank i mean just look at it so the next step we have to do is stop at Publix because i'm going to use distilled water with these fish because i absolutely hate hard water spots you ever see on the tank like those little white patchy little looking things i don't like that so we're gonna get distilled water but 70 dollars, guys this is an amazing thing for anyone that's looking to get into a tank for under a hundred dollars you literally cannot beat this so there is one thing that i'm going to add to this and we didn't include the rocks in that so i already have rocks at the house so i'm not going to go buy any so it was like $70 there. If you get rocks, it's literally gonna be like $5 a bag. Then we're gonna go to Publix to get the distilled water just so we don't have those hard water spots and we don't have to treat the water. So at the end of the day with the tank, the fish, the plants, the food, depending on what you wanna do, you can do all this for like $80, $85. Super cheap, inexpensive for a amazing fish tank. I cannot wait to set this up and show you guys. So you can't see it, but I'm here at Publix. That sign is blocked by that tree, but I got the fish in the car. And the best thing about my truck is I can leave it on. So now I don't have to worry about the fish getting cooked in there because it's nice and air conditioned. So they have exactly what we need here. They have the distilled water. It's $1.35 a gallon. Normally they don't have that here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's a hurricane. Look at this. It is about to just pour at my house. Jeez. So now that I'm home and I'm in my room, this is where the new tank is gonna, I have been like so lazy with this, not getting it out of my room. So I gotta take this out. I'm just gonna move it outside, I'll clean it later. And then we're gonna get this little tank set up. Guys, I am so sorry about the lighting in here. I literally only have this fan right here and this lighting from outside. So it's not that good, but we're gonna make it work. I gotta get new lights in here. So we're gonna open this tank up now and see what we're dealing with. Let's see. What I love about this tank most is this awesome like wood finish. It's like, it feels like a Japanese Zen garden. I don't know, maybe that's just me. And look at that, super cool. We got the built-in LED. It's a white LED light, which I like a lot. It's gonna be super cool. And it's got this little feeding station right here. So when you go to feed, you just go boop and put the food in. We've got that. We've got this white box right here. Yes, sir. Yes. Let's see what we got here. Solo, got no one to help me out here, but we're gonna get it done. I had, Paul Kafaro was here earlier, we were building a tortoise home, but he had to go because he was going over to Blake's from Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. He had some stuff to do there. So unfortunately, he wasn't here to help me out with this video. Also, one last thing, you always wanna rinse your fish tanks. You wanna rinse the filter, the bio bag, you want to rinse all the plants, anything that's going to be in the water around the fish, you want to rinse it off. You don't know what kind of chemicals are on it from the manufacturer. You know, it might look clean, but really it's not. So we're going to get it all rinsed off. Guys, I got this tank all cleaned out now. Now the next step is to add these rocks. These rocks are already clean, so I don't have to rinse them off. When you do get new rocks, you do want to rinse them off. It's going to have all kinds of nasty dust. It's going to make the water all cloudy. So we're just going to put those in right now. I'm just going to do this with my hand. I should do it with a cup, but this move is not. Woo! So I was just kind of holding the stuff up, putting a little dojo house in there. And now that I look at it, I think it's just gonna take up too much space. So I don't want the fish to be too crammed. So I'm not gonna include this in it, but I am going to include the three other plants that we did get. So I'm gonna take these three right now and i'm going to rinse them off just rinse the plants off i'm going to put this little one right here i kind of position this one like come on 
right here. And then this one, I like it in the back and voila, came out great. So I don't know, this should, yeah, that's per I don't think I'll have to cut it off. It'll just be touching the top just a little bit, but this tank is going to be epic. It is so small. It's literally like this big. So I'll put the lid on and see how it fits. I don't know if I'm gonna need to cut that plant. I don't know. Wow, this is like impossible doing this one here, but you know, what are you gonna do? Wow, this is epically failing. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we just gotta fill it up and then we gotta put these fish in. So we're using the distilled water so it's not gonna leave any hard water spots. That's nice. I just knocked the plant over. Look how epic this little tank is. It is just absolutely beautiful. And to think we set this tank up for just under $100. We spent like $85 total with everything. The rocks I already had. So we had the tank, which was about $30 with the filter. The plants were about $8 each. Oh, that was $8. That was like $3 and that was $2. And I got one of them for 50% off. We, and we got five fish. This thing is amazing. The next step is we're going to plug this filter on, let the water cycle for about an hour. Let's see. Is it working? Perfect, it's cycling. Okay guys, the time has come. We have the little mini tank set up. We did all of this for under $100. I'm actually gonna return the little dojo looking house thing. And that's gonna take, you know, $8 off of it. So really you can do this for $75. You can have an amazing little fish tank right in your room. So we got the little neon Tetris here. We're just gonna pour them into this net and then transfer them right into the tank. Got the little Tetris right here. And we're just going to drop them in. In he goes. Boop. And last but not least, we have the little clown barb that's in here. Now, I know all these fish can't live their whole life in here, but they can live in here now as long as they're not fighting. So Check it out, guys. This tank is completely set up. The fish are happy. They're swimming around. Just look how beautiful this tank came out. I'm still in awe about the tank. I cannot believe we did this tank for under $100. Literally, we did this tank for $80. We got everything. One of my favorite features of it, though, is this beautiful wood lid. It's like plastic wood texture. Just looks incredible. It's got this little easy access area to feed the fish. It's got the built-in filter. So if any of you guys do want to do this, you can do it for under $100 if you want a fish tank. And I love how small it is. Before I end the video, I want to see if they're a little bit hungry. So I'm just going to take like a little smidge of food. Just kind of drop it right there. Let's see, you can see the food's floating right up there. Oh, oh, you going for it. So that is going to conclude another episode, everyone. I hope all of you did enjoy watching it. I had an absolute blast setting up this little fish tank. It looks just incredible. Right now, it's the front-facing camera on my phone. So it's not going to look the greatest. But when you do look at it head-on, it looks amazing. So if all of you guys have not yet, I want all of you to go comment down below what you thought of this video. If you guys do want to set one up yourselves, you have a question, comment down below. I'll try to help you as best as I can. Go give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe below. And I do want to give you guys a little pre-update on the hawk. So I'm not going to give you guys any spoilers. But in the next video, keep an eye out. First thing in the next video, I will give all of you guys an update on this hawk. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you had a great time.